Hello and welcome. I'm David Dosada and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Senator Grace Post lamps the fourth disqualification case filed against her before the Commission on Elections. Former University of the East Law Dean Amado Valdez files the new case questioning Poe's citizenship. But Poe's spokesman, Valenzuela Mayor Rex Gachalian, says Poe, in his words, met the 10-year residency requirement. He adds they are ready to face all these petitions and prove them wrong. Chinese President Xi Jinping is set to visit the Philippines for the 2015 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Meeting next week. The APEC Economic Leaders Summit brings in world leaders such as U.S. President Barack Obama and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Xi's trip to Manila comes after the Philippines won the first round of its maritime case versus China before the arbitral tribunal in The Hague, Netherlands. The two countries remain in a dispute over the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea. It is unclear if Xi and Philippine President Benigno Aquino will hold bilateral talks on the sidelines of the APEC summit. The house help of former Iglesia Ni Cristo minister Lowell Menorca insists she is not kidnapped by her boss. Abigail Yanson adds INC's top leadership forces her family to lie. Napakasakit po, nagagalit ako sa mga sangunian. Sobrang nagagalit po ako. Kasi magulang ko na po yung hawak ko eh, kapatid ko. Tapos kung ano-ano po yung salita ko pinagsasabi nila na alam nila hindi totoo. Kaya po nila nagsasabi yun dahil tinatakot sila. Tinatakot silang matiwalag. Na hindi nila ako umuwi. INC spokesman Brother Edwil Zabala says the INC camp is, in his words, confident that the truth shall prevail and their officials will be vindicated. Minorca is among the former INC officials allegedly detained by the local church's top officials because of his supposed criticisms on INC's leadership. Aung San Suu Kyi's opposition party says it's set to win over 70% of seats during Myanmar's landmark elections. Officials from Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy say early counting seems to be in their favor, but they will wait for the results. The NLD needs 67% of available parliamentary seats to enjoy a majority, a situation that may end decades of military rule in Myanmar. NBA player Russell Westbrook makes the year's most violent dunk during the Oklahoma Thunders game against the Phoenix Suns. Westbrook shows off a clear steal before throwing down a powerful tomahawk dunk in the first quarter. The 26-year-old finishes with 21 points as the Thunder beats the Suns, 124-103. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm David Lozada. Remember, tomorrow begins today.